All right, it's been a while, but a new radio has shown up at the house. And when I say new radio, I mean a 23 channel radio. So hopefully this thing survived the trip. We're going to open it up. I'm not going to do an unboxing because it just takes too long. But we'll get in here and see what's in here and I'll show it off. Here it is. It's a rare radio. I have never seen one in person before. Made in Sweden. Here it is. The Handic 2305. So, this radio has its original microphone, which is a four pin den. It's kind of an oddball. But, radio appears to work. Uh, S meter light is burnt out. This priority light, I believe, is burned out because I've got that subaudible tone turned on and it's not flashing but uh it does work it receives on channel 13 well channel 13 any channel but uh we're on 13 turn on this remote here test one two test one two three four so the radio itself works this radio picks up noise let's key this one up test one two three four Test one, two, three, four. As you can see, we're keyed up and we can hear ourselves on the walkie talkie. And let's see here. We'll just dead key this thing here. 10 watt slug. Oh, three and a half watt dead key. Uh, audio. Swing in almost up to four watts. We can throw the amplifier on. It's not a very powerful radio with a lot of swing, but it does work. Looks like we're keying 80 or so watts, 85 watts, swinging up to about 90 see what our peak power is. Audio. Audio. Just over 250 watts, which is not a big swinging powerful CB, but this is basically about like a bone stock CB. So, I don't know. This thing's just cool. And where am I ever going to see one again? So, at least in person. This one was in good enough shape that I was interested in receiving the thing, so here it is. Radio seems to work though, so I'm going to go inside here, clean some things up, switches, knobs. Alright, here's the back panel of the radio. As you can see, it's, in the, it's a USA model. It's actually imported to the USA, so it has some differences, I'm sure, 120 volts. All that fun stuff but looks like it can be powered externally with a power supply or your vehicle this din port in the back here was for the uh, select call feature it's like a PL tone system and then your external and PA speaker inputs are actually quarter inch phone jacks and then your typical SO239 and this is some sort of a squelch control for the subaudible tone, for subaudible receive. But yeah, pretty simple. Two amp fuse. So to service this thing was pretty simple. I just cleaned the back of all these switches, sprayed fader lube inside of all these potentiometers, and uh, replaced this burned out lamp in the S meter. Just used a white LED that I then scuffed the surface was sandpaper, so it'd be a little bit less wanting to cast like a laser beam out the front of itself. And it fits perfectly right in the factory rubber grommet there where the original light bulb was glued in. So the other lights are working, so we left those alone. And then finally I sprayed fader lube in there and cleaned the contacts on the channel changer. But everything is working just fine. So, let's see here. Here's our final transistor and driver. 
think the 2SC1816 would be the final, and the 2SC1728 would be the driver. And then you can see nobody's ever been in here and making screwdriver adjustments, which is great. That's how we like to get these things. But yeah, this stuff's all Japanese made. It's not actually made in Sweden. It was contracted out to be made in Japan. So what's the brand of the board? I've never seen the brand over here on this board. GRE Japan. So the bottom side is uneventful, not noteworthy. Through hole design with not a lot of stuff mounted to the surface just randomly but yeah i am going to pull off the front panel here and see if i can get the channel changer to be more spot on in terms of its adjustment so stand by so when i first turned the radio on i noticed that the number was kind of misaligned so currently i believe we're on channel five it almost looks like you're on channel four when you're directly on so that would be channel six. And uh, nicely enough, there is a screw that we can loosen that plate and make the adjustment and have this thing lined up correctly. So this radio is fairly straightforward to uh, take apart and do service on. <laughs> now you didn't cut you off. Hey, Perfectly you lined up. Prime Minister. Channel 1, channel 23, no channel whatsoever, channel 22. So, got her lined up. It's going to look great. So here's an overview of the Handic 2305. It's just a 23 channel base station. Pretty bare bones. We've got volume and squelch. And it does have a built-in SWR check and it also has this subaudible tone um, priority mode this is kind of like a PL tone and if you flip this system on it just starts blinking this light to let you know that it's engaged um, what's the audible effect of that I don't really know it kind of uh, kind of mutes people out when it's on and unmutes them when it's off so that's with it on that's with it off. Anyway, turn that down. All the features are working. CBPA works. The SWR check, the calibration, that stuff all works. And uh, in theory, the priority mode works. Who knows? But it's cool to have a radio that all these features are working. The only thing I ended up having to do was replace the S meter light and I used a white LED because it's the first case I've ever seen where that actually looks good. Since the lettering is blue with orange, um, the white LED looks pretty good. And this is where my channel sits now that I've realigned the dial. So every channel is accurately indicating where it's at now. That's channel 20 in this case. How about it out there, DX Land, DX Land, CB Lounge 2112 with that live video gate on YouTube. Come on, come on. Yeah. We're making that trip. This is 421 You are making a mighty fine trip there, 421. You're getting over all the hash and trash there, 421, sounding fantastic in from iowa appreciate it you're on the live video gate here at the cb lounge 2112. Getting a little rough and tough out there, a little rough and tough out there, but that 23 channel is definitely making the trip and sounding great out there, my friend.
Well, that radio is sounding mighty fine, mighty fine. You're around the 55-minute mark on the uh, live stream today if you want to hear it. We lost you there, 421. We lost you there, 421. We much appreciate the comeback out there, and your station's doing a mighty fine job, good sir. CB Lounge 2112, we're standing by. 421 Central Iowa, right on. Good to see you. 421 says, hey there, 2112. I was trying to, I was trying out a Handic 2305 base station. I just cleaned up and got on the air. It's an oddity for my collection. Yeah, I've never even heard of one of those. Uh, thanks for the get back. I'm in An An uh, uh, geez. And Kenny. Jeez, man, I'm bad today. And Kenny, Iowa. And Keeney, Iowa, maybe? Thank you very much, 421. I appreciate it. And that radio was sounding really good, man. Good job. Very good job. Come back out there and your station's doing a mighty fine job, good sir. Jimmy Lounge 2112, we're standing by. 